Now let's get more on one of our top stories today. Two inquiries are being set up and three Department for Transport officials have been suspended over government blunders in awarding the West Coast mainline contract. Ministers say there were significant flaws in the way rival bids from Virgin and First Group were assessed. They've reversed the decision to give the franchise to First Group. Well, Michael Whitehouse is a lawyer for RAG and Company. They're, they advise private bidders and operators for rail franchises and he joins us now on the line from Abu Dhabi. Michael Whitehouse, we're grateful for your time. We're just Sorry. trying to get to grips with this. How can a story like this happen when all these lawyers are involved, all these top heads are, are, are consulted about what should happen and suddenly we end up with this mess? Now, Labour is promising to repeal the government's controversial changes to the NHS in England. Addressing the party conference in Manchester earlier, the Shadow Health Secretary, Andy Burnham, called on the government to stop privatising parts of the NHS. He said that hundreds of services were being put out to tender this week. Well, our chief political correspondent, Norman Smith, is in Manchester for us. Norman, a buoyant day yesterday with the leader's speech. Today, it's back to the nitty-gritty. To hop us to, let's give you the headlines. The Department for Transport has suspended three civil servants after reversing its decision to award the West Coast mainline contract to First Group. Sir Richard Branson of Virgin Trains, who lost the contract, has welcomed the move.